Yeah, they actually look like a proper centipede. So, and already the enclosure is looking pretty neat, right? The snail is already munching on this cucumber. <laughs> because we decided how we will name our daughter, our baby. Her name will be... Today is one of those days where we have a lot of ground to cover, so let's just go! <laughs> And if you watched the last video, this shouldn't come as a surprise to you because Elvira, the mistress of darkness, molted. And I think that she is the, the biggest tarantula in the dark den. And now she is even bigger. I just snatched that molt and unfortunately it is not super fresh. And even though I knew that she will molt soon, I didn't manage to record that. I didn't manage to catch her at the act. Yeah, the malt is not super moist, so I cannot really spread it to see how big she is now. Yeah, I will just break it if I continue. Um, in case you don't know how to spread the malt that is already dried up, you just take a cup, plastic cup, glass cup, whatever. You take a little bit of paper towel or toilet paper, whatever. You add a little bit of moisture to that. You stick a tarantula malt inside and close it off. The moisture will soften up the already dried exoskeleton, the malt, and after that you will be able to spread it and pause it however you like. So we are going to put that aside and we will quickly check her out. You see, she doesn't really look big because she is always clumped up, especially her back legs, you see. Her back legs are basically in line with her abdomen, but if she spread those, then they would reach like, yeah, really far away. Uh, front are a bit spread, but she can definitely spread them a bit more. So yeah, I am pretty sure that she's the biggest, but once her mold softens up and I spread it, I will be able to compare it with Linda's last mold. And even though both are bigger than their pre previous mold, but comparing their latest mold, it should give us rough estimates to see which one is bigger. Now another mold. The second tarantula that molted is right here and maybe she is fresh. This is Nandochromatus and we moved her like a month and a half ago inside of this new enclosure. Now I think that she will let me to take her and yeah, her mold. Thank you. And you see this malt is still fresh and I will be able to spread it easily. So I should definitely use that opportunity. Because I still need plenty of malts in order to restore the former glory of this bush that contains all the malts. In case you don't remember, in second dark den I had a lot of malts on that board. But Felix, he climbed across, in one his escape he climbed across the entire board and destroyed majority of malts. That was really unfortunate, but it was my mistake to let him escape. If you look at this flap over here, you see, technically I should be able to lift it. Hmm. There, it was stuck a bit, but you should be able to clearly see it. Uh, this is Spermatheca and this is the female reproductive organ or where she stores the sperm. I'm not 100% sure about the correct terminology, but when your molt, when your torrential molt got that, it means that it is a female. Once it dries out, it will go right there on this molt panel or yeah, molt panel. <laughs> now let me grab next topic of this video. And that is the blue centipede that got babies. Now I don't want to expose her to light too long because I can see that baby's already moving a lot. Look at the progress. Can you see the babies? Babies are almost developed fully. They are white, but yeah, they actually look like a proper centipede. So, oops. I'm sorry centipede mama. I hope that that wasn't too much disturbance and that she won't hurt the babies. Okay, I'm taking her back. Hopefully she will embrace her babies back. Um, you know that in a few videos ago, like five maybe videos ago, I showed you that that centipede laid eggs and she was also holding her eggs like that and protecting them. But a lot of you told me that just because centipede laid and it's keeping eggs, it doesn't mean that they are actually fertile, that the babies will hatch. But a few weeks later, uh, I will write the exact date that certain clip is taken, but you see after a few weeks those eggs open up and they became like, I don't know, is that that's a larva stage or something? I should have probably researched the topic before 
making a video about it, but yeah, I'm just showing you as I was experiencing it. Those eggs opened and they evolved into these uh, wormy little thingies. And a few weeks after that, they increase in size and slowly but surely with certain during the certain time you see they formed like a proper centipede shape and now in this last clip that i just showed you where i almost uh, startled the female to run away they are now proper centipede babies and please if some of you got experience breeding the centipedes let me know when i should uh, separate them so mama doesn't eat them okay but that is super exciting and i was hoping for this to happen i was hoping that the eggs uh, are fertile in fact and now that it is actually happening developing in front of me i cannot wait to uh, to separate all the babies and to see how many there are and how quickly they will grow individually and probably on next Terra plaza in budapest i will go there and if those uh, centipedes developed by that time, I will probably have them over there for sale or something. I don't know, maybe I will give them away, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not really sure. Anyhow, that is that. Now uh, the other thing, let me show you. I kind of need to do a revision of this enclosure that houses, um, how are they called, the sun beetle yeah sun beetles and those african snails uh, they are being housed communally and so far everything worked out but as you could see on the instagram one snail died actually and check it out it was completely eaten by grubs because this shell was buried in the substrate and as i was digging to take a piece of food that was uneaten i accidentally dug it out and i was like oh this is empty and grubs actually eat the whole thing which is crazy i'm not really sure why uh, this snail died but i still have two inside and they are so far so good i don't know but what i want to do i want to take the enclosure as you see and i want to check out how the situation inside looks i want to check the substrate situation because to me oh, look i immediately found two big grubs because to me this looks like the substrate is most likely consists of grub poop, right? Yeah, it seems like they broke down most of the substrate inside. So what I want to do, I want to add more substrate and also I want to add more of these things for them today so they can eat and also I want to add more leaf litter because I no longer see any leaf litter so I guess that they are also feasting on that but check it out, another grub, it seems like the whole substrate is just full with with grubs as it should another one yeah and eggs you see you see the beetle is developing inside of this and also i've seen a couple of here whoa <laughs> that beetle over there tried to fly away <laughs> funny i think that currently there are three beetles alive this one is munching a piece of cucumber but as i was saying you see two eggs here three eggs fourth okay this one is open hatched or actually eaten maybe dead no that is actually larva left over once it hatches yeah it's all good so you see this is the empty egg the beetle gets out of that and also this one is open you see pretty cool that is the actual reason why i don't just want to remove the entire substrate and put new one inside because this upset is full of life the eggs the grubs the larvas hatching into eggs uh, not eggs the beetles also there there is ton of springtails inside and all of that would be lost if i would toss the entire substrate so that's why i will just add more material inside it should be good enough and also while inside i will do a little bit of redesigning because i will try to secure this background a bit better with stuff that i put inside because and cannot really use the expanding foam now since the animals are inside look another beetle developing inside of this uh, since the animals are already inside i don't really want to use the expanding foam to secure it it was definitely a mistake not securing it at start maybe i should just remove it all together yeah that is the best solution since it is not really serving the background purpose uh, on the back i will just put a black uh, cover yeah also check out snails they are active during the night so that's why they are currently not active <laughs> this one is so dirty 
look at all these grubs they just keep popping out I really like that <laughs> I will also take the cocoons outside and I'll return them once I add the substrate it actually seems that this side of substrate is an actual substrate you see well this side of substrate is the poop you see it is definitely different I don't know what is up with that oh look at this I found stale eggs buried down there uh, but I think that the grubs are eating most of them and that's why there are no uh, baby snails inside of this enclosure but I think that I will take a couple of those eggs because I want like one or two new snails to start growing inside of the enclosure so I'll just keep them in a separate enclosure and that way they should hatch so after closer inspection this pile of substrate is all that I decided to add because the situation is not as bad as I initially thought and this is pile of rotting wood that I will also mix in so that will be everything and of course on top of that I will put some leaf litter these are all the cocoons that I managed to find and now I will just return them back inside of the enclosure and I will actually put them all at the same spot so maybe I'll be able to monitor them this way <laughs> pretty cool sight there all hidden now to return the cork bark and also branches and even though there is a lot of texture on this option we are still going to add a little bit of sand for the texture ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't think that I'm doing much right yeah let's just add the leaf litter a little bit of this and a little bit of that and already the enclosure is looking pretty neat right I cannot wait for more of these little buggers to spawn from these um, out of these cocoons yeah also the the snails are kind of probing the environment checking everything out so let's return them inside in you go mr. snail number one and mr. snail number two here you go great 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 also these bones for the calcium for snails and yeah i will feed them later on tonight after the video let me take them back to their spot actually i decided to give them food now and you see this snail is already munching on this cucumber <laughs> and there is a piece of banana for the the bug and he is also already on it sweet 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 i like it i definitely like how it looks now much better than it used to look for sure even though I know it won't last long because snails will just move all the leaf litter and also bugs will eat I, know, I mean not bugs the, the grubs will probably eat the leaf litter because I used to have leaf litter inside and it is all gone so I can only assume that grubs ate it now before we end this video we are done with the animal portion of this video but this you see I have a couple of boxes to open so that is how we are going to finish this looks like we have some sort of poster inside Ooh, oh keepers cards looks like Danny sent me something check it out torrential anatomy thanks Danny although I have no idea where I will put it because I'm kind of really low on uh, wall space in here I still haven't put all the fan art and I also have some cool paintings that I want to put on the wall also don't forget about all the cans that I received from all of you guys where will I put all of that I have no idea but I'm going to figure it out later do we have another poster in here oh we have a letter this looks like something really detailed holy moly this is one quality picture quality poster can you see it uh, there is a lot of reflection in it but holy hell it looks so sweet from who it is so Alex from West Australia thank you for this amazing picture and he said that this is um, Gainesville Lossus if I'm reading that correctly hmm that can be right ah it is Gaius Velosus and it is not a tarantula but it's something else but it is a spider of course and he says that it is the it holds the world record for all the spider at 43 years of age and its lineage is about 180 
million years. And he's asking if I can shout out the Obsidian Imaging. Is that your Instagram page? Let me check. Yep, it is. He also got the picture of that poster over there. Oh, and he got some really, really sweet pictures. If you're down for that stuff, make sure to check out his profile. He doesn't have a lot of pictures, but the ones that he got are awesome. Uh, thank you for the for the poster and he also asked me if I can uh, give a shout out to Australian Tarantulas Plus Invertebrates Facebook group share thing buddy. Okay, let's carry on. I think that we got some cans. <laughs> yep, some cans right there and actually a lot of cans. Ah, oh, why does the can that I don't have, the can of monster that I don't have always needs to be busted. I think that I have this one and you see this one is not busted. But this one that I don't have, busted. I think that I also don't have this one. And this one I have. While well, this one, mm, I'm not sure. Oh, look at this. It is a plastic spider. <laughs> and there is just Instagram of the dude that sent me. I guess your name is Trevor. <laughs> and he wrote me his Instagram if I have any questions. No, it's all right, I see. I see that you sent me some cans and I don't really have any questions in regards to that, except Thank you for sending them. Although, I think that I will now need to ask you guys to not send me any more cans because I literally don't have place to keep them. And this is some super old one. Look, it's 7-Up. But look how old it is. It's actually sweet. Huh, and this one is also... Oh, did you really just send me a rusty can? <laughs> but this is also super old, you see? <laughs> Thank you, but as I was saying, until I don't figure out what I will do with all the cans, how I will display them and where, I will restrain myself from getting more cans. And this last package is from someone really familiar. It is from Kenya and her family. I can already recognize her, um, how do you say it? Writing, yeah, I can already recognize her writing for me. I can already feel that it is a shirt. Oh, actually two shirts. And of course that they are tarantula themed, you see. Sorry I'm late, I had to play with my tarantula. It is fitting for sure. And this one is just some tarantula logo. Sweet, thank you. <laughs> mm, this one is for Maya, you see. Again, Maya is profiting for your new arrival. So this should be for baby. <laughs> for my future daughter. Oh, and for our anniversary, you remembered. Yeah, already a year passed since I I got married with Maya. I cannot believe how time flies quickly. It is a card, so I will check it with Maya. And also I assume that that is something for us both. And this is for baby. Should I open it? Yeah, I will open it now. Babies cannot really open presents, so no point into keeping something for, for her. It is a plush cake tie and it got bells inside. And another card I assume when the baby is born. So I'm going to keep that aside. And should I open this? Not really sure if I should open this now or I will, I will wait with this, okay. Mm, Kenya, thank you. Thank you for all the presents. And this actually leads me into a, one reveal because we decided how we will name our daughter, our baby. Her name will be Erika. <laughs> but it is written in standard creation, so it is Erika with K. E-R-I-K-A. English spelling is not my strongest side, but that is the name we chose and it was actually inspired, we were actually inspired by the uh, Bojack Horseman cartoon. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday, so see you again next week. Bye!